Hello everyone. Welcome back you all on the another video on MATLAB Simulink. In this video, we are going to simulate the TCT PV array under path sharing conditions and we are considering the 5x5 TCT PV array. 5x5 25 PV modules and that are connected in a TCT fashion. So for this, we need a total 25 PV array and that need to be connected in the TCT configuration. So before starting the video, if you haven't subscribed the channel, please go and subscribe the channel. So we need a PV module. So we'll just type a PV array. So we'll get a PV array here. And when you are double click on this PV array, one pop up will come and where we need to fill the data of regarding the PV module. So this is the new window where the information regarding the PV module we have to fill like open circuit voltage, source circuit current, number of cells connected in the series and number of parallel string, number of uh, series string. So when you are connecting the module data, yet there will be a lot of modules are available, predefined modules are available. So as uh, of right now, I am using the user defined functions and uh, for user defined function the open circuit voltage is 36.3 volts and the source uh, and uh, source circuit current is 7.8 for ampere and uh, vmp voltage is 29 and the current at maximum power point is 7.35 ampere so this module have a pv power of 213.15 watt uh, based upon these ratings so we will make it apply and uh, And we will, we will press OK. Now we need a constant block for the irradiations. So irradiations I am giving G11. And the temperature we need a temperature T. So such kind of and what we need we need a anti parallel diode that is connected uh, anti parallel with the PV array under passage shading conditions okay so now we need a 25 pv module so we'll just copy this and we will just paste it so i'll make it fast forward this video So this is the TCT connections which we have made right now. So now what we will do uh, to measure the uh, to plot the PV and IV curve, we have to sense the voltage and the current of all the PV modules. So we will use a current measurement block here. And uh, we will use a voltage measurement block. Okay, so we cannot directly measure the voltage because we want to plot the PV and IV curve. So we need a one controlled voltage source. So why is the purpose of the controlled voltage source? Because we want to plot the IV curve where voltage is starting from zero to VOC. Then the voltage across these two terminals will be zero. Zero, the all the PV panels, PV modules will be short circuit. So the current will be maximum. And we are increasing the voltage across these two terminals gradually so the current flowing from this module will be reducing so there will be one point where we will get the maximum power okay so for this what we need we need a controlled voltage source and we will connect this in the station 
and we will measure the voltage across this control voltage source. Now we need to increase the voltage of these two terminals. So what can we do? We can use a ramp signal and the slope of the ramp signal, how can we decide? That depends upon the total voltage of this, uh, these two terminals. This is the positive terminals and this is the negative terminals. So we will just click on the any one of the PVRA and we will see what is the open circuit voltage of this PV module. So the open circuit voltage of this PV module is 36.3. So what we will do, so total voltage across this will be 36.3 multiplied with 5. So the slope will be 36.3 multiplied with the 5. And start time will be 0, initial output will be 0. Correct? We will use a scope first to see the voltage, current as well as the power. And we will see the number of input channels to this scope. So number of input channels, we are making 3. And layout also we are taking a different layout. So voltage, current and the power, we will see in 3 different scope, three different scope of this channels. This is the voltage, this will be the current and we will use a multiply so we'll use a two here. And we just multiply the voltage as well as current. Okay, so now what settings we have to do, first we need to add the power to the block here and in the power to so before changing the setting of the power to we must go to the model configuration parameter, just go to the model configuration parameter, there we need to change the solver from continuous or discrete, it is better to go to discrete solver, so fixed step solver and in this fixed step solver you can go for the ODE3 and the optional you can keep the sample data 180 power minus 5 that is a 10 microsecond and make it apply and click it OK and double click on the power wave block make it simulation type is a discrete and the solver is a touched in and it's the same sampling rate what you kept here kept in the model configuration parameter you must have to keep the same sampling rate here and make it apply and OK now we need to change the G11 and the temperature. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll just go to the command window. We just type a G11 equals to 1000 and the temperature equal to 25 is the star type. Okay, so the values will be stored in the workspace G11 and a T1025. That means initially we are giving all the PV panels as 1000 volt per meter square and 25 degree centigrade. Now we will run the model to check the PV and IV curve under ideal conditions where all the PV modules are have the same radiations and the temperature is 25 degree centigrade. Then you have to do one more setting here. In the control voltage source, uh, the source type should be DC. And uh, if you want to increase the sample uh, processing time, what you can do, you can multiply your slope with 10, then you can divide whatever time is. It was 1 previously, so you can make it a 0.1. So in the 0.1 second, the simulations will be completed. Now we will run the simulation and we will see the output of the PV and IV curve under normal operating conditions where all the modules have the equal solar irradiations and the temperature that is called as the standard test conditions. So now we got the PV and uh, now we got the power curve, this is the current curve, this is the voltage curve. Now what we will do, we will just change the uh, any one of the row or any one of the column uh, with the different irradiations. Okay, so what we will do, we will just change the G1 to this complete row. G1. 
so now what we did we just change the different irradiations for this bottom row and the right column column of uh, the tct array reconfiguration now we will go to the command window and we will change the g12 to 600 okay so now we will run the simulation again and we will see the difference in the power under partial shading conditions so we will note down how much power before partial shading conditions so so the power before partial shading condition is around uh, 53002 uh, 5400 okay so now we will run it and we will see uh, under partial shading conditions so it will take some time uh, so i am pausing the simulations and uh, once it will complete i just uh, play uh, the video so now uh, we can analyze this curve that uh, before partial shading conditions the power was 5300 now you can see uh, after applying the partial shading condition the power is reduced below uh, 4000 watt and uh, this is the peak power uh, the global peak and this is the local peak so the peak power is reduced uh, uh, below 4000 after partial shading conditions for TCT reconfigurations so you can use different patterns of uh, the partial shading conditions like a random shading patterns long wide long narrow uh, short wide short narrow and uh, you can apply your uh, algorithms and your shading conditions for the five cross five tct pvra under passive shading conditions and uh, you can try the different uh, uh, not tct there will be honeycomb uh, and uh, normal series parallel combinations of the pvra under uh, pvra reconfigurations so hope this video uh, you like this video and uh, share this video to many uh, many researchers who is working in this area and uh, if you have any queries regarding this please uh, don't hesitate to tell me in the comment sections and uh, don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much